Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here, Secure Team. Just a few days ago, we uh, posted a video on this massive blue light that was caught over virtually all of California. It was seen in Arizona, Colorado, and there are some sightings of this thing as far as Hawaii. Now, it has been confirmed that this was a Navy-led launch of a thermonuclear missile over Los Angeles. It was actually the second test launch of the Trident II D-5 missile from a ballistic submarine in the Pacific Ocean, which took place Monday afternoon. Now, there was a lot of mystery surrounding this object, and when we first posted our video, as did virtually every other major YouTuber and video taker throughout California and Los Angeles, we really didn't know what this was. So when we posted the video, it was at that time identified as simply a UFO. However, this has been confirmed to be a Trident missile launch. And what's even scarier than this being an unidentified flying object what is even more disconcerting is the fact that the Navy launched this missile over a large civilian population in order to give warning to other superpowers of what will happen should you mess with the United States. And these other superpowers are mainly China and Russia. Now, for those of you who don't follow uh, political and foreign policy news, uh, there has been a secret escalation of the covert war between the United States and the Russia and Chinese partnership. The Trident missile launch was basically a warning shot against China and Russia. The test launch of this Trident missile over Orange County was staged near the high population area for a very tactical reason, which basically was so it would have as many witnesses and videos as possible, sending a very visible warning message to China and Russia that says, we can and will destroy you if you do not back off, and America will protect its interests. Now, many sources are saying that Russia and China have been for some time partnering for a possible massive first strike against the United States. Uh, this involves cyber attacks, economic attacks, missile attacks against the U.S. Navy warships, and even the very real possibility of an EMP weapons attack against America's power grid infrastructure. As published in the LA Times, U.S. Defense Secretary Ashton Carter all but said that the missile launches are a warning against global aggressors. The submarine missile test came late Saturday after Defense Secretary Ashton Carter addressed a defense forum at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley about the U.S., quote, adapting our operational posture and contingency plans to deter Russia's aggression. He went on to say that we do not seek a cold, let alone a hot, war with Russia. We do not seek to make Russia an enemy, but make no mistake, the United States will defend our interests, our allies, the principled international order, and the positive future that it affords us all. So basically, in other words, the bottom line here was that these missile launches are a very distinct and clear warning to the enemies of America with the message that if you mess with us, you will be taken down. Now, what is scary about this is that America felt the need and found it necessary to send such a strong message, which further proves that America's enemies are posturing for a possible war. This missile test was basically the geopolitical equivalent of a dog growling when another dog gets too close to his bowl of food. Now, Trident missiles, which is what you guys saw on our video and thousands of others, have a range of 4,000 nautical miles. So basically, this means that one of our U.S. submarines armed with one of these Trident missiles could launch a nuclear strike on Beijing, China from anywhere in the mid-Pacific Ocean. And these submarines being out there provides one of the single most important factors in preventing China and Russia from escalating their war actions against us. America has already proven that it is willing to drop atomic bombs on civilian populations in order to protect its national interests. You simply need to look back to World War II, where we dropped the atomic bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So although this did not turn out to be an alien craft, it is very scary the implications of this warning shot that America so strongly needed to send out, obviously. Now, on the UFO front, there have been some images published recently that we featured on our original video, captured by a civilian watching the rocket launch, that did catch what looks like a saucer-shaped object following this missile. We've also talked to numerous sources who say they saw a glowing UFO following the missile as it flew over the skies, the image to which you're seeing right here. Now, this wouldn't be the first time that these craft or UFOs have been seen watching missile launches. There have been numerous occasions where these UFOs have appeared, which have gone on to disable some of these missiles in midair. So there are some mysterious elements around this missile sighting, but above all else, I think that we can look at this and deduce that if our government is willing to launch a massive Trident missile over one of the largest civilian populations in America as a message and warning to China and Russia, it really makes you wonder 
what is it about China and Russia that our government is not telling us about? I am Tyler with Secure Team. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you like the work we do, and we'll do our best to keep you updated on this growing situation. So stick around because we've got a lot more coming. Stay safe, guys.